Right, you might be wondering why you're seeing me on Knockhill's channels. That's because we're going to put Duncan to the test ahead of the Knockhill round of the British Touring Car Championship. He always makes a big thing about me being his stats man. So we've got 15 stats about Knockhill. Quick fire questions, see how many you can get and see how many you can slip into commentary when the race weekend comes around. So, question number one. When was the first BTCC race at Knock Hill? 1992. 1994. 1994. 1992. I did get that one right. And I was waiting on you saying the rain or something. Um, how many BTCC races have there been at Knock Hill? You are trying to better the... Uh, what did, what did he get? What did he get? <laughs> this is not going to be easy. I am going to go for 56. Since 1992, one every year. Well, there's been one race meeting, but how many races have there been? Uh, oh, I've got, because it varies, isn't it? Three to two. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, 180. Well, there was two per day for a while. I have to rush you. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 80. 67. I think that, uh, to be fair, I think that was closer than you got. I'm pretty sure he said about 150. So you're not doing too bad. Um, first person to get pole position at Knockhill. Anthony. Home, home hero. Anthony Reid. I've got no idea. Winkhawk. I'll give you a clue. Right. Think, home, think a home hero. John Cleland. No, I am going to clue. say a uh, local driver. Yeah. Local hero. Uh, John Cleland, then, surely. The late, great David Leslie. Uh, uh, you didn't You didn't even think of David Leslie, you went straight for John Cleland. I did, yeah, I did. Thanks for that. Who was the first person to win a race at Knock Hill? <laughs> it wasn't John Cleland, I can tell you that. Uh, was it Will Hoy? Frank Beeler. I would say Anthony Reid again, I don't know. No, it was Jeff Allen. Uh, most wins at Knock Hill. And I'll give you the same clue I gave him. They're still in the paddock. Colin? No. Jason. Matt Neal. Oh, it is Matt Neal. Uh, Matt Neal. <laughs> <laughs> Think of somebody else who's been in longer. Um, it's Jason Plato then. Yeah, Jason Plato. I'll give you that one. It. Most successful Scottish driver in terms of wins? Uh, I'm going to go for John Clellan there. That's going to be Gordon Shedd. Shedd's. Gordon Shedd. Yep, correct. You got that one because you got a hint. Um, how many drivers have won at Knock Hill? Oh. 21. How many drivers? I don't know, 20? Across all of the races, uh, there will have been, if there's been 67 races, I'm going to go for 42 drivers. 30. Uh, most pole positions? Um, give, them give, give them a clue. They're in the paddock. They are in the paddock. It looks like my guitar player. Your guitar player? Um, and his name is a planet. Uh, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Rhymes with planet. J Jason Plato. Yeah. <laughs> He's starting to regret saying yes to this yeah, now. I am. It's not Colin. No, it's not Colin. He's right with that one. No, I said it's not. No, no, no. no, no. This is like Popmaster. I have to take your first answer. Okay, okay. okay. No, he didn't give it. No, he said it's not Colin. Okay, I'll give you one more shot. Jason. Jason Plato. Correct. And most podium finishes. It can't be Jason Plato again, can it? No, it can't be Jason Plato. Jason Plato. Oh, um, I'm going to go for Flash again. No, it's Jason. Uh, how many drivers have finished on the podium? That's going to be... 56. Um, it's going to be mid-50s. I'm going to go for 56. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Uh, you are the editor of... Autosport, and you know, and you, you, you're a well respected journalist who knows stats. I've only covered the BTCC since 2004. That's no excuse. But you are also the person who does the commentary at Knockhill. Anyway, Hill. I'll give you a hint here 65? 57. <laughs> you are out by one. Oh. 56. Wow. He's obviously Googled that one beforehand. Um, which manufacturer has the most wins? Vauxhall. Vauxhall. <laughs> BMW. Vauxhall. <laughs> no. It's not no. Vauxhall. I it's said Vauxhall, Vauxhall and so did Matt James because they've been in for so long. If you're going to give me hints, at least make sure they're right. I Come said on. Honda. <laughs> are, you, are you 
he was right with that he one. His hint, his hint was correct, I agree with that one. Um, how many manufacturers have won Knock Hill? Uh, there have been a total of 14 different manufacturers winning at Knock Hill. Oh. I couldn't count higher than six. So it's higher than six? Yeah, it's going to be about 12. Uh, I'm going to say five, but every sex will want it. And then, no, it's 13. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can tell maths is not a strong point. Oh, right, I, 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 I will be kind on this one, okay. because if you get this one bang on, then I will bring extra goodies to Knock Hill, oh, okay. because you won't get this one. How many racing laps have there been at Knock Hill? Um, is it, it's, in the, it's in the tens of thousands, isn't it? I think you told me this last year. I think I told you this two years ago. Oh, right, so we, had a, we had a landmark two years ago. Yeah, it was 10,000. Well, it wasn't 10,000. Okay, you blame me. Um, I've got no idea. Give me a, give me an area. I'm not get, no, I'm not giving you a ballpark. You have to guess. How many racing laps have been done at Knock Hill since 1992? Yeah. <sighs> this isn't individual driver laps. This is how many laps have the races run to. Right, so I can't do maths that quickly. And I forget how many races there have been through different just, years. Just in case you wondered, we're filming this about three weeks before Knock Hill, so there is a chance Duncan will have the answer before he gets to you. Uh, 25,000. 412. It's about 24 each, so about 75 bear, bear in, bear in for the last 15 years. Bear in mind we had longer races. Oh, right, okay. So, so, so about, so about 1,200. Oh, you add, you add up The number of laps that each race runs to, how many do you get? Uh, a big number is the answer, so that is going to be... Six, times 60, which would be... Uh, I don't know. You are looking at, in the region of 12,000. <laughs> you really should not laugh. Uh, it's 1,849. Oh, I was but close to, to be then. fair, he said about 25,000. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> I, I was under a bit of stress and I panicked, and <laughs> 25,000 for something in 14 come out. So. Well, there's, clear, there's clearly a reason why you two guys talk about racing and out there doing the timing and scoring. And but we talk about what's happening as it happens, as you know? As it happens, yeah. and it comes in and it goes out. Yeah. Once you've done it, that's yeah. it. You forget, don't you? It's been there and gone, it's done, yeah. yeah. Next yeah. race, let's go. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so can you get closer than him on this one then? So, 1,849 laps, how many kilometres is that? Um, 1,849 laps then, so that's going to be... What, in total across all of the cars that have completed all of those laps? 1,849 laps equates to how many kilometres? Right, OK, so that is going to be... You smell burning. You smell burning. I'm under, I feel under pressure here. That's going to be 2,400 kilometres. Uh, it'd be about 2,250. 1,849 laps. So how did I get that so wrong? I've got no idea. <laughs> 25, no uh, idea. <laughs> right, okay, so in kilometres, that's got to be, it's got to be about 2,500 kilometres, is it? It is 3,819. So I've got no idea how many, I've got no idea how many of those he got right. Pretty sure it was a lot less than he got wrong. Mark Bell, thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure, thanks a lot. Have a good day. <laughs> but listen, thank you very much, Matt J, uh, uh, Matt S and Matt J. A difficult quiz there, and we might actually get another quiz for this man just for Knock Hill. We'll see what we can do. Thank you very much, guys, and enjoy the day's racing. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.